Good morning and welcome to another one of my videos. I hope you're all staying safe and well in these uh, COVID-19 times. Right, so today as you can see, we're not actually in the garage, we're in the kitchen. Um, we have a customer complaint uh, that the washing machine down there, the Bico 7 kilogram washing machine, um, doesn't finish a cycle. It doesn't drain after a wash cycle or for a spin cycle. Now, I've had this problem a couple of times before, and I've actually repaired this machine now, so I didn't decide to film it until I was putting it back together. Um, so what we do, so what I did is I filmed it in reverse, so some of the film stages may look a bit out of sequence, but you'll get the drift of what I was doing. But I'll explain what the problem Right, so obviously you put the washing in the washing machine and it all tumbles around inside. And if you, what happens is if you've got any debris or any coins or any bits and pieces in your pocket, um, it gets down beside the drum and when it drains, it comes down into the pump, which is down in this little unit down here. Um, and inside there's a little motor with a little impeller and it pumps water out the exit pipe to the drain. If you get any debris caught in here, it stops the impeller going round and... Oh, where's my assistant again? It stops the impeller going round and it won't pump. So normally what you do, you unscrew this, this cap and it unscrews out and then you can get to the impeller, you can get to the debris and you can clear it out, no problem. But on a couple of occasions, it's got stuck and it only lets you turn it probably a third of the way around and it gets stuck and come on out of the way and normally you can jiggle it about and you can free it but on this occasion I couldn't do it so what I had to do was I had to take the whole pump out from the bottom of the machine um, to get the debris out um, and this is how I did it right just uh, before we start this assembly just a quick warning um, I thought I'd mention this before we start taking things apart. If your washing machine has stopped halfway through a cycle and it hasn't drained, be aware that the machine might be full of water. So before you even try to take this filter plug out, what you need to do is to pull this tube out here. This is a drain tube and this drain tube is attached to the back of the pump. Put this into a suitable container and pull this plug out and then that will drain the washing machine that will drain the drum that will drain the pump of all the water and then put the plug back in and insert it back into its little holder if you don't do that if you take this out with the washing machine full of water or half full of water because it hasn't drained it will flood out here and it will flood the entire kitchen floor and you'll spend ages mopping up uh, so just be warned, make sure you drain all the water out before you take the plug out. Thank you. Alright, so the, we've pulled the uh, tumble dryer off and we've put the tumble dryer over there. And we've uh, rearranged things so we can pull the machine out and lay it back. So we can get access to underneath. So we'll just pull this off. Take your own clips, that's your flat for the front, we'll put that somewhere safe. Right then, so this panel is literally held in by uh, three slots along the bottom, which hook into the three slots there, and it's been held in place by a spring clip there, or a spring clip there and three little poppers along the top so once you've got that unclipped that unclipped and that unclipped it just hinges away and comes off okay now we have access to the bottom of the machine uh, you can see the pump there is held in by three screws so first of all we'll get them out and then we should be able to twist the pump and remove it 
Right, now we've got the uh, three screws out. It's just a case of turning the pump anti-clockwise. And then the pump drops out the bottom of the machine. All right, now the pump's free. Uh, we've got to take off that wiring connector at the back there. And now let the pump drop down a little bit more to give us a bit more access. All right, there's the two pin plug at the back. That's all unconnected. Now onto the next item. All right, next thing we have to do is to take the main drain. Let's get some light on here. There we go. Um, this is the main pipe that comes down from the from the drum into the pump. And we need to get that off. Alright, so let's take this off here. Let's see what we got in here. Alright, All right, if I move the camera around so you can see. Alright, so we've got... Paper and a key we've got a window lock key stuck in the filter pump in the, in the in the little pump so now we've got the we've cleared that out so now you can see that's nice and empty in there we should be able to spin this and out comes the filter housing and uh, we'll give that a clean out uh, ready for reassembly all right and once it's all back together and it was all working perfectly what I would suggest is um, to put it onto a something like a rinse um, or quick cycle and then start it and then just make sure that when the water fills up you have no leaks from this seal around here make sure that's fully turned tight and clockwise you'll find when you put this in it'll only go around it'll screw in clockwise and then there's a little stop at the 11 o'clock mark and it'll stop there and it won't go any further so just when you start it make sure you've got no leaks from this seal no leaks from that pipe and then you're good to go